what we saw from North Carolina teaches us something that I believe Mark Twain said, Vince Lombardi echoed, and I will tell you again today. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. I like to change that. Credit Mark Twain. Credit uh, Vince Lombardi and say, fatigue makes mortals of immortals. Because North Carolina hit the wall. They hit the wall. Do you guys remember a video game on Nintendo NES? It's called RC Kart. Do you remember it? It was a really cool video game where you're basically driving around a little uh, radio control, uh, you know, one of those little off-road dealies, and you have a nitrous button. And the nitrous is like, well, like in a football game, your turbo. But if you hold down the nitrous too long, there's no nitrous there, and you get you have to save it for specific moments. Right, it's like the the turbo, the turbo boost when you're in Madden or when you're playing, you know, when you're when you're playing NBA 2K, you just can't hold it down. It's now you could cheat the system. Do you guys remember um, track and field? Remember that track and field NES game? This is old school gamer stuff. Some people would have a big controller that was like the size of your lap and you could hold down the A button and it would essentially press, it was, it was cheating. But you can't, life is not like that. Life is more like RC cart where you have a nitrous and North Carolina ran out of gas and Kansas somehow figured out that they were playing like crap and to get it together. Here's Bill Self on what he told the team before the first half ended. I did tell him before the, uh, the half was over, I said, which would be harder, being down nine with two minutes left or being down 15 with 20? And they all said being down nine with two minutes left. I said, so this, we can do this and, and, uh, because that's the way it was in 08. So we, we got three or four stops in a row to start the half, and 15 went to nine like that, and it was anybody's game. So uh, it was pretty special how, how one triggered that uh, start the second half. Here's uh, Bill Self talking about how unique this title run was. I don't know that I've ever had a team flip the script like we had probably in the NCAA tournament. Uh, whether it be Miami in the lead eight or, or whether it be uh, this game. But, but uh, you know, be special to win regardless. Uh, but to win when your team had to fight and come back the way they did uh, uh, and show that much grit uh, makes this one uh, off the charts. I, I thought this would be good, and this is a heck of a lot better than I thought it would be. Here's Bill Self and what he told Jim Nance at the podium. We were disappointed in how we played the first half. Uh, Carolina was obviously the much better team, and, but this team has been down before. And, and uh, you know, I told him at halftime, would you rather be down 15 with 20 left or down nine with two left? Because that was obviously what happened in 2008. And they all said, let's take 15. So we played off of that. Pretty cool stuff, right? They don't give out trophies for halftime. I think experience does matter. Not just Bill Self's experience at Kansas when they're down nine points with two minutes to go to Memphis going back to 2008, but just the experience of the adjustments to make, the personnel to play. Look, he played Remy Martin a ton in the second half. Remy Martin could not have been worse in the first half. At the end of the first half, he just threw guys in. He was just spitfire, you know, spitball and ideas. Let's try Jalen Coleman Lance is 25. L- let's try er- anybody who can possibly, let's try it. We got a freshman big guy, throw him in there for a couple plays and, and, and see what he can do. Meanwhile, Hubert Davis, who again is, I think a fantastic coach and it's going to be wonderful at North Carolina for years. It was deer in the headlights. When do I call a timeout? How do I stop this bleeding? And it's not the first time that happened in North Carolina it happened in, in the Baylor game. You know, you get a couple calls that that go against you because the aggressor is the team that's behind. The officials kind of get into it and let them play a little bit. And Kansas had them shell-shocked. And then they get tired. And then they, you know, that's when when guys start falling out and falling down. I've seen all these conspiracy theories about the court. If you're pointing out the court, you don't know anything about basketball. It's a brand-new, perfect court. Couldn't be any better. Yeah, sometimes when you step down because they have space underneath them, they vibrate a little bit, okay? There's a little bit of vibration there. That, that's intended. It give, it's a softer landing. It gives you more spring. It's better for your body. It's not the reason that Armando Baycott rolled his ankle. He rolled his ankle because he had a bad wheel. He's exhausted, and your body breaks down. That's when you start falling down. 
How do I know this? I coach like 15 basketball games a weekend. And when you get to Sunday and your kid's out of gas, that's exactly what happens. You try and hit that turbo on the nitrous button and they got nothing left. It's the horse racing analogy is you, you, you go to the whip and the horse has got nothing left because they were early speed and, the, and, and they, have, they, have, they have no closing speed. This is sports. That was amazing. North Carolina could not have been better in the first half. They're bouncing around. Hubert Davis is, is live action here. It's live action. He runs over to the huddle. He's sweating. It's amazing. But they don't give out trophies at halftime. Experience does matter. There is nothing like momentum. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. And and if and if you collectively or individually take a breath and refocus and have belief, you can accomplish great things. That's not just in basketball. That's not just in sports. That's in life. That all played out last night. That was a magnificent display. And look, North Carolina still could have won the game. When Baycott fell down and rolled his ankle, they had a one-point lead. It wasn't like they, they collapsed and then they went away. They gave every, like, Those kids gave everything they had. That was awesome. I mean, like, they don't sub. They throw Puff Johnson in there because they have to. And that kid's playing out of his mind. Then he throws up on the court, literally. Ah, oh, I just so energized and enthused and reinvigorated on sports and how it makes you feel. That was amazing. Amazing to, 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 to get a chance to, to cover, to watch, to be a part of, and it on the micro is the macro of all sports.